I met Robert Oppenheimer while a grad student at Princeton. He was invited to give a talk about his life and about his uh, directing the atom bomb project at Los Alamos during the war. He came to the graduate college at Princeton and gave a talk and afterwards almost everyone left, but I hung around with a few other graduate students and Oppenheimer hung around and we ended up talking for hours into the wee hours of the night and I got a close look at him there and it was so informal, so personal that I felt emboldened to ask him how he felt about what he had done of creating the most destructive weapon in the history of warfare. And he was borderline morose in his response. A lot of it came from realizing that as a result of his leadership and his work on the Manhattan Project, a hundred thousand Japanese men, women, and children had been uh, annihilated. Uh, he didn't at that point, quote his famous quote, which he had given to the media. Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. I suppose we all thought that one way or another. Oppenheimer said this uh, in a way that was made you shudder. I saw Oppenheimer in action at the Institute for Advanced Study where there were weekly seminars at the cutting edge of physics and I saw one incident that I've never forgotten which is a graduate student got up to report on his research and he was about 10 minutes into it when Wolfgang Pauli who discovered this spin of the electron got up and said what you are hearing is rubbish this man does not know what he's talking about. If you'd like to hear the correct theory, I will tell you. The graduate student was a friend of mine. He broke down in tears on the spot. And to his great benefit, Oppenheimer got up, put his arm around the kid, and walked him out of the room. And in a way, saved the day. And essentially shut Pauli up. I always admired Oppenheimer for that. Later I read that he too was often rude to graduate students, but maybe he had been mellowed by his whole experience of the Manhattan Project, and so as director of the Institute for Advanced Study, he was protective. He really is a figure of world history because he put together and managed the team of scientists who were a fractious lot, uh, you know, like herding cats, to use the cliche. And he managed to get them to work together very efficiently and very effectively to build the weapon that brought an end to World War II. So for that alone, he'll, his name will live forever.